So while this isn't exactly the way I would personally put it, uh, you have touched on something quite interesting and funny at the same time. You see, I tend to get a lot of uh, conservative Christians in my comments mistakenly assuming that I've been calling Jesus a homosexual, which I haven't. In fact, long-time viewers of mine may realise that I've never actually asserted a sexuality onto Jesus, and it's largely due to the fact that I don't like asserting sexualities onto anybody, historic or not, on their behalf. Because it's so easy to be wrong about something like that, and it's amazing how badly misinformation about something like that can spread. When it comes to asexuality, though, that's the funny part. Because when they argue that he definitely wasn't a homosexual, they often argue that he wasn't sexual at all, that he had no sexual relations, had no desire for it because he was too pure or divine for that or something. But by definition, him not experiencing sexual attraction in others would make him asexual. But conservatives can't accept that, because accepting that would accept that Jesus was part of the LGBTQ plus community. Either that, or he was having sex before marriage. Like, I don't meet the rules here. Which way was it? You tell me.